Um, that is almost imperceptible, though. And everything else, you know, heading down that way is going to be on the one meter. So I think we're going to not even going to worry about it. We're going to pretend like we didn't notice that. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to set up our first plastic and rubber uh, production. Um, and uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because I actually need some of that product to finish out our build here. Now, I went ahead and did the bottom floor, the logistics floor, off camera, um, and did the back wall and the side walls. Uh, just wanted to get that out of the way, but then I'm going to do the front and the final enclosure and finishing touches with you guys on camera in the next uh, episode. So right now I've got global illumination turned on, so without my light on it's like really kind of dark down here. But uh, basically what I did was I removed all of the walls that I had and more, more or less separated out each production area with rails. And then I also put in these pillars. Um all the way down to you know provide support for down below which of course you know would be realistic and um, I up here in front I put in uh, these you know these windows here and then the metal wall looking texture uh, for the walls and we also have you know these three entryways the sides of the building are both you know pretty much the same um, as the back as is the back except for of course all the inputs that we have back there so yeah we'll do the uh, i have a, a plan that i've worked out for how we're going to finish this building off and we will do that uh, the plan anyways will be to do that plan in the next episode but like i said we need some plastic material uh a product made from plastic material more pre precisely first so i figured well let's just go ahead and get our plastic and rubber going because we need that also for several of our milestones Okay, so here is the plan. I've worked this out and I'm, I'm kind of excited to build this uh, and have it come together. Uh, we have a total of three oil nodes uh, just over here in the islands. One of them's a normal and two of them are pure. We're gonna tap into the normal uh, for for what we're gonna do today and we'll save the, the two pure nodes for, for bigger stuff later on. All right, so let's just pull up right here. So, about the area that we're going to work in and we'll just leave our vehicle there for now and jump on over here um i should probably especially since we're going to do something here uh, let's set up an access to get uh back up so whoops so let's go to uh some stairs and, oh, you're not going to, you're only going to go that way, aren't you? All right. So what we'll do then is let's remove this and put um, the catwalk crossing there. And then we should be able to attach the stairs to this. Oops, I put two there. Okay, and then, um, oh, that's right, that that's the part of the road that's not quite uh, lined up correctly. That's right, we can just, we can just jump over that. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, take a quick look at our scan here. Uh, so this, oh, we've got enemies we're going to have to deal with too, that's right. Um, but we are right here, and this node is the normal one we're going to tap into, but then we also have a pure, uh, oh. Oh, okay. I guess I only have one pure node over here. Oh, shit. Um, and then two normals. Okay. This isn't, of course, the only place on the map, you know, that has oil deposits. But it's certainly, you know, the closest one to us, so. All right. So he did. Um, oh, yeah. Let's get rid of this as well. Okay. I guess I'll pick those up 
for now, but I am gonna gonna run out of space here. Um, all right, so I want to get rid of this. Oh, you know what? It just occurred to me. I think the reason why sometimes I only get one thing at a time is because there's no room in my inventory. Okay, that explains that. So I was wondering the other day uh, why that was happening, but I think that's why. Because sometimes it, it, you know, it does pick up a whole bunch of stuff all at once like it's supposed to. But I believe it's just because there's no room on my, in my inventory. Very good. All right. So let's go, first of all, to our foundations. And we are going to... Um, I might actually... If we put a, a one meter on here, on the global... We might go with this. Um, here, also, before I do anything else, I want to change these to... Whoops, uh, concrete. I just like the concrete better than the, the default texture. Um, okay, so we can go out to about there before it starts to raise up off the ground. So then I think what we'll do out here then is we'll... Can we switch to a 2 meter... Yeah, we'll, we'll use a two meter uh, to go out this way. So I'm not exactly sure where all this is going to end up. One thing I do want to make sure and do, though, is set this, this platform up in the same manner as this uh, one over here. Okay, so that's the edge of the platform that all of the coal generators are on right there. Okay, so let's turn and head due north. And we want this one to be in the same spot. just clip this into the terrain right here and then let's run this out so what we're gonna do <coughs> is we're gonna set up uh, both a plastic and a rubber uh, production but the cool thing that's gonna happen here is that in doing that, we're going to create a byproduct called heavy oil residue. Heavy oil residue can then itself be used to make other things. I think probably the most useful thing that it can make is, is actual fuel. Um, but the problem that we have at the moment is in order for us to make fuel to actually use for something other than... A fuel generator which we can't we, we we don't have yet we need the milestone for it um we we can't we can't actually use it for that um because we don't have a way to store it what we need is we need packaging and packaging is also locked behind a, a higher milestone that we need rubber and plastic to get to so we're going to take that byproduct that heavy oil residue and we're going to turn it into what's called petroleum coke uh, which is basically kind of like a cheap version of coal. And then we're going to take the byproduct of the petroleum coke and use it to um, power 7.2 more coal generators. What that's going to do for us is it's going to allow us to reuse the byproduct to generate more power for our power grid. And it's, it's going to be a 100%, you know, efficient, zero-waste setup. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to, to setting it up. 
Uh, and I did, of course, as usual, do, you know, I did a test build of it um, off camera to, you know, try and figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by putting down our uh, oil extractor. And I think the way that I want to do this is I want to turn it so that it's facing to the west. Like so. All right. And then let's... Yeah, let's bring this over here. I think we're going to... Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. That reminds me, though, I need to, um, actually need to make some more inhalers. I only have three left, and I can use barrel nuts to do that, among other things. I think we learned, actually, all of the recipes for that. Okay. So we'll bring this over to here. And I don't, I may not fill this part in. We don't necessarily really need to do that at this point. Um, all right, I think, I think we're good there. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come over here. And I think starting right here, I'm going to get our blueprint for our coal generators. And we're going to set a batch of eight of these down. Um, we'll be able to fo fully power seven and then uh, only 20% of the eighth one. So, yeah. All right. So let's turn that this way. And uh, now I think if I remember correctly. All right. I think I need to bring this to there. That seems right. Okay, that's where we're going to put it, but I'm going to go check. So this little footing here is almost exactly even with this line. And I want to make sure that these are lined up exactly in the same line as the rest of them. So if we look here, oh, by the way, I did set up uh, a bunch of power storage here too. So I've got nine more of these, these guys set up. So if we look at our network, um, we have a total of, of 1800 megawatts of stored power. And we're currently only utilizing, uh, well, what our maximum consumption is, is less than that. Uh, but it's even quite a bit lower than that. So that way, if our power goes down, you know, we have an hour's worth of power between, you know, these these capacitors or batteries and the ones that we also installed up at the original factory. So, yeah, there you go. A little update there. Right. Anyway, what we're looking at is this footing. Okay, so that's actually on the other side of this line. Um, okay. Right. Okay. So we need to go make the other one match that. So we need to bring this forward to, to right about here. Okay. Let's do blueprint dismantle mode. And we'll grab this again. And we want this. Here, let me get it lined up there. And then we just need to nudge it to there. And that should now be lined up with that row of coal generators. I'm going to get the other ones set down and then we'll hop up on a tower just to confirm that, that, that they're lined up. Um, okay, so let's go to the the middle uh, or the center one. Okay, and then 
just move. Oh, actually, it's going to be easier to con line these up back on this corner. Whoops. Okay, so bring it this way and that way. Okay, whoops. And then finally, um, we'll grab the the end piece. And once again, come over here to line up the corners. That should be good right there. All right. Before I forget, let's go ahead and hook these up now. So all of this power we're gonna, that we're going to set up is going to completely power this whole entire production line and still give us another, I don't know, four or 500 megawatts on top of that of extra power. So it should, should be pretty cool. Let's go over here. And like I said, we'll throw a tower down really quick and just make sure that those are lined up. Where? I wish the damn ladder would always face the player. That's what I wish. Okay. I'm pretty sure those are lined up, but... I want to get... You know, be able to look right down the, the line of, of smokestacks, because that's really what's going to tell us for sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so those stacks are lined up with the other ones. That's good. All right. Mission accomplished on that one. Next thing we're going to do is... Um, okay, yeah. I, I still got to hook up all the pipes and the, and the water pumps, but I'll do that later. What I actually want to do now is I want to put down our first splitter. And I think that's where we want it to be. That direction. But we do need to move it over this way one. Let's reset this so it's actually connected. All right. So that means this line here is the line we want to line up the refineries on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another row, probably two rows here. Very good. Next thing is we're going to go into the blueprints and we're going to go to oil products. And I have two or no, sorry. I have three different setups here. I got one for rubber, one for plastic and one for petroleum Coke. We're going to do the Coke ones first. So we're going to grab this. And what we want is we want this right one lined up just like that on that. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, on the, yeah, the conveyor line not the pipeline it needs to be lined up there and then I think I'm gonna pull it to there let's lock that for a minute and it looks like we can nudge it one more that way and I think we're golden so let's set that down all right so these refineries are set up to produce uh, pet uh, petroleum coke, but they're underclocked to at 75% to produce 90 per minute or 180 in total. And that's because of the output of the heavy oil residue that we're going to have on the other machines that you'll see here in a moment. Okay, and so it's going to output uh, a total of 180 per minute between the two of them. Uh, so I just used a Mark III here. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about flow rate or anything like that. 
Okay, so both of these together will supply 180 petroleum coke into these um, uh, coal generators. Now, each coal generator will... And normally, each coal generator takes 15 coal, but with petroleum coke, because it's less efficient, it takes 25 coal, okay? And so if we take and divide 180 by 25, that comes out to 7.2. So that, that's where we get, you know, we'll, have, we'll be able to run seven of these at full capacity, and then the last one we'll have to dump down to, to 20%, which I think comes out to like 15 megawatts. And we'll do that. We'll probably do that on the one at the very end there. Good. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our rubber and plastic next. And I think what I want to do here is, yeah, let's just stand right here. So we're lined up with this pipe. What I'm thinking though, actually, is it might make life easier for us if we pull that out a little further so it's lined up here. So let's just take all of that apart. We'll switch to this toolbar and grab the pipe junction. And we'll pull it so that it's... I believe that's where we want it. Oh, no. That's where we want it. Okay, so it's lined up with the pipe hole there, and it's on this seam here. Very good. I'm going to do the same thing here. I think that's correct. Why these ones give you a skinny green line that's hard for old people like me to see, and everything else is the thick green line, is beyond me. <laughs> but that's the way it works. Okay, we'll plug this back into here. All right, so um, again, these are underclocked to take in 30 heavy oil residue per minute per machine, so a total of 60. Very good. All right, now we're going to stand. Um, well, we don't even need to stand here, but on the seam. And already, I think what we're going to need to do is widen this some more, too. So let's just widen it to there for the moment. We're going to go into blueprints. And it doesn't matter which one of these we do. Let's just do rubber. And we want to turn it so that it is turned this direction. And we want this pipe lined up on this seam. Then we want to pull it this way. Let's lock it. And... What I'm, what I'm planning on doing is, yeah, let's bring it this way, a couple of nudges. All right, let's try that for a second. But I want to get on a lookout tower again. Because we're going to take the plastic and the rubber along a conveyor line back to our our base and put it in storage. Okay, so that line's going to basically run. It's going to come out some splitters and go along there. I think I'd like to pull that back a little bit, actually. So let's pull, make it so that these junctions are even with the edge of this seam here. Back to blueprints, grab rubber, refinery, and I think we want it. Oh, come on, dude. Get out of my blueprint. Wait for him to move. Okay, let's lock that. 
Yeah, that's that's what we want. Okay. Let's commit to that. And then what we're going to do is plug that pipe into there. Very good. Now let's go to our blueprints and let's grab our plastic setup, which is exactly the same as the rubber, except for that it's, um, you know, the recipe set to plastic. And I want it to be of the same spacing. Okay, so we need to nudge it back to there, I think. Maybe one more nudge. That looks right that direction. Um, but I think we actually want to nudge it to the right also. And I think that spacing's correct. Okay, yep, let's commit. And then we just run that into there. So that connects all of the pipelines for the heavy oil residue to come out and then flow into those machines to make our petroleum coke. Let's come around to this side now. And um, we are gonna need actually a, probably three or four more. Well, let's do one more after this. fill this in as well. Might as well just clip this all the way into the terrain just like the other one was. Very good. Okay. I need to connect these two up. And as you can see, this one is set to plastic. And notice that it produces 10 heavy oil residue. This is a mirror. So now we're up to 20 heavy oil residue. The rubber produces 20 oil residue instead of 10. So now we're up to 40 in total. And then of course our second rubber adds another 20 to that. That adds a total of 60 heavy oil residue. And we have two of these machines each taking in 30. So that's why how those numbers work out. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, plus, we have two refineries running uh, for plastic and rubber. So we're producing a total of 40 rubber per minute and uh, 40 plastic per minute, which we're going to send down the, down the road there to our storage. That's how that works out. Now, I could have actually pulled this whole kit and caboodle further this way, but I wasn't exactly sure how much room I was going to have because I, when I built this out in my test, I didn't build it to exact specifications in terms of positioning. I just, you know, plopped enough of it together to get an idea of how I wanted to do it. So, but that's not really a problem. It doesn't really matter because um, we should still be able to easily accommodate um you know our our furthest water pump over will be right here um and you know we can actually go as far as there if we wanted to not not that we're going to but we have plenty of room okay now what we want to do is get the pipes hooked up for this run this pipe over to here uh, looks like it is going to give me a green line which is great we'll go back to and voila nice 90 degree connection there okay so um we have two more things that we have to do before we power this up. We need to get the 
the product conveyors, you know, run to the base and we need to get the coal setup hooked up. So I think I'm going to do the coal setup next. So let's get that knocked out um, quickly. Okay, so we have all the hookups done except for the power. And this last generator, uh, we want to set, uh, we want to underclock this down to 15 megawatts. Um, and that will be, you know, the right amount once we see the petroleum coke come in and start filling these guys up. Excellent. Next thing we need to do is we need to temporarily uh, prime the, the whole thing with, uh, you know, from our main power grid. And I'm just going to add this to the main grid anyways. But once it's up and running, you know, then it'll power itself. Um, so I just have to kind of figure out how I want to... You know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. We're, we're just going to temporarily run power from... Uh, we'll, we'll use this power pole. And then once it's up and running, then we can disconnect this. And I'll just connect this to the main to the main grid main grid anyway um just down the road with the main coal power facility okay so um let's just do this let's go underneath the road here and we'll grab i'm on the wrong toolbar here grab this And let's see, our power connections are there. I'm not too terribly worried about this making this nice and neat because, uh, again, it's just temporary until we get the main thing powered up. Oh, that's right, we got to run get the product over to our base. Uh, right. <clears throat> so for that task, I need to figure out the appropriate height for these conveyor belts. Uh, they, obviously, they got to go over the high enough to be, you know, over the top of the coal generators. And actually, that's all the higher it really does need to be. Uh, and I guess we, all right, we might, unless unless it'll run straight through the batteries there, we, we'll have to get it high enough up to clear those as well. Okay, let's face due north and run back this way. Well, you know what, though? That's not doing me any good. <clears throat> We're going to put splitters on these. So, well, actually, let's... Mm, I don't want to do that, though, until I, I have the height figured out. Or we could just leave this the way that it is and then then raise it up here with a, a lift. Yeah, let's do that. That's going to be easier. That's going to that's gonna be a lot easier, actually. Okay. So these need to be mergers. Um, with the output coming this direction. And that's probably where we want that. Let's lock it. Move it back this way one. And that looks correct. So we're going to have 40 rubber and 40 plastic in total. I'll use, we'll use this 
uh, yeah, we'll use the smart splitters on the other end at the storage to separate it out. So, so these need, the line itself needs to be Mark II. Uh, right, okay. The lifts are, are fine as Mark I, but the line has to be Mark II. So let's make sure the output is to the left. And let's lock that for a minute and bring it back out to here. That should be correct. I didn't add these in the blueprint because I thought I was going to be raising these lifts up higher. In case you're wondering why I didn't do that. Excellent. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use Mark II for everything. Technically, you know, 20, 40, 60 for these first three could be Mark I, but I'll just use Mark II for everything. Okay, so now what we want to do on this seam here is we want to put down a conveyor pull. And let's put it on that seam there. And what I want to determine is... <coughs> If this line here is going to go through the batteries, I don't think it is. I think it's going to be too far to the left. We could, we could move it. Can I stand on top of this? Oh, I can. Okay. So if we look directly south, yeah, it's going to run right into that capacitor. Or battery. I don't know why I keep calling capacitors. So we either go higher or we need to, you know, nudge this over a little bit so it goes through the center of those. The other thing we could do is completely reset these back. It wouldn't be that hard to do because they're all blueprinted. Well, ah, shit, I'd have to redo all of the mergers though but this is a permanent installation um and so i think that if i look directly south i think we want to be right about here oops Okay, let's get right in the center of this and look directly south and we can zoom in a little bit. It's like this, uh, you know, this kind of this black line that goes along the top of these generators is it seems like it's just a smidge. Well, no, that is just right about in the center. Uh, yeah, so I think this is right. What we could do is just run a damn belt down there and see. We got to do it anyways, right? Um, I'm not going to be able to clear these generators, though, before this belt runs out of length. It runs out right there. So we should be able to put in a... Uh, yeah, we could do this. I'm not sure if I put that in the right exact position, though. No, I need to move. Whoops, I need to move it over. Needs to be right there. Oh, 
Okay. So this is going to stop right here. Um, can we put, yeah, you know what we should do is put a foundation down here, actually. Uh, the thing about that, though, that might be a little tricky is here. Let's, let's just set that there temporarily to mark the spot. Yeah. Okay. What we got to do is, I mean, I can put it on the, on the global grid, but that's not going to vertically align it for us. We need this to be vertically aligned. So let's grab a four meter foundation and take it to right there, I guess. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's take this out now and we'll just slide this over one and that should give us what we need. Okay, so let's line up with this again. there and we'll put this we'll bring this in one that should be good enough and I think we're straight and I think we're level beautiful all right now let's go ahead and do this little trick we take a small concrete pillar and oh, that's just a little too wide, isn't it? All right, let's take a big concrete pillar and we'll put another one underneath it and then remove these two. How the hell did that happen? That looks good. I'm liking it. Okay, let's we're going to have to do something similar again over here. So that being the case, ah shit, I should have left those other foundations in place. Well, that'll, that'll give us the right height, does it? Yeah, okay, this will work too. Okay, right to there. Now, can I get... Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. And we can take all of these down, including this one and this one. Oh, well, that's okay. Here, let's just do this. Put a second one down there, too. Oh. Did I put a second one here? I did. Yeah, okay. That looks good. I like it. I like it. Now we should be able to get over to here. not lined up right oh no did I get 
off kilter here or did I just not I mean that looks straight all the way down but when I bring this in I think that's where we where we're supposed to be. Yeah. Hmm. So that's not going quite right down the center. You know what though? I don't think I'm gonna worry about that. I, I just I think I'm being a little too picky about this. And we I think we wanna to go to there. Wait a second. There we go. Okay. That looks correct. If we look directly to the west... No, it's still... Oh, I know what the problem is. Yeah, the okay, it's it's a vertical issue. So cuz cuz remember we used 2 meters here whereas these are 1 meters. Um that is almost imperceptible though. And everything else you know heading down that way is going to be on the 1 meter, so I think we're going to not even going to worry about it. We're going to pretend like we didn't notice that. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Okay. Let's climb up to here. It's one of those things you'd, you'd never know it was a thing unless you were really looking for it, you know? So, yeah, we'll, we'll just forget about it. And we want to go to here and then turn this way. And so I think right down here is where we want to put our rack. Nice and straight. And it should be level with this section. If we look directly east and bring the top of our screen down, that lines up perfectly. Okay, good. Okay, let's go down and do the next section. All right, so you, you basically see what I'm doing. Uh, I got quite a ways to go, so I'm just going to do the rest of this off camera until we get down to our storage, and then we'll set that up down there. All right, guys, I've got the belt uh, run all the way down there. and You can see it's nice and straight there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to just remove all of this crap because I can always uh, reset it up later. And, uh, yeah, so let's get this out of the way because we need to set our next section of three storage containers up uh, right over here and so the next one we're going to do is the high high one um, because what I do of course if you didn't see me do this before is we got the low version the medium version and then the high version and then we cycle back to the low medium and then, and then the next one will be the high version. Right, okay. Let's come around to the front here. And we're going to go into our blueprints and go to storage. And we want the tin high version of this. And we want to turn this like so. And then bump it. Uh, is that right? Yeah. That's what we want right there. 
Okay. Now what we need to do is set the splitters, uh, the smart splitters, to be precise. Let's go to architecture and grab a ladder. And I'm just going to put that ladder at the right direction. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter which direction it is. All right, so, whoops. Try that again. Can I get to this one? There we go. Okay, so we'll make this one um, plastic. And uh, any undefined goes to the center over it. Flow goes out the right. And this one we will make... No, not that one. This one will make rubber. Undefined overflow. Good. That one, um, I don't... That one's just going to be unassigned for now. Okay, now, I wonder if we can luck out and have this just line up exactly the way it needs to go. Um, no, it's it needs to go back and it needs to go... Um, actually, hold on. Yeah, we need to put a lift on that. But it also needs to go back, too. So what if we... Um, let's put it here. Alright. And then we want a Mark II lift on here. Going like that. And then going... can't really tell from here if that's the right height or not. It looks looks like it might be a little too high. Okay, let's um let's just connect that like that. I I think that's the right height. It's obviously it's not straight, but I think it's the right height this way and the entry is actually here so we just need to go two over this way and then it needs to also come over this way probably here I think and then maybe up to there We'll see if that's right. Nope, it's too close. And I think we're good to go. That's straight. Yep. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, we're good to go. Um, now, this... Uh, yeah, we got to bring this down to here. And then just run that into there. And that will be the last section that will be on this sink. And then later on when we add more... We'll have to put a new sink down. I mean, we don't have to, but... I don't know. You know, I don't know if these things have... Look at that. 51 coupons. We're going to actually spend some of those in the next episode. Um, I mean, I don't know if, if these can become overloaded or not. I'm not really sure. The belt definitely can. Not that it is at the moment, but... I, th I still think, you know, in spite of that, we'll, we'll always just do a new sink for every set of three storage bins. Okay. So this should all be set up. Um, except for, did we do the signs already? We didn't. Okay. So we set this one for plastic. Let's go 
go to here and parts and plastic. All right. And this one is set to rubber. Beautiful. All right. <coughs> let's head, <coughs> excuse me, let's head on back uh, to our build site. And we're just about ready to set this thing up. Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to run power. And uh, can I run another line off that? No, I can't. You know, I'm I'm very tempted to install the Daisy Chain Everywhere mod, which allows you to, you know, run connections, extra connections off of these. I'm I'm not really intending to do any mods in this playthrough, but it is tempting, I have to say. It is tempting. Okay, well in that case, let's just run an, a power pull. Actually, what I think I want to do Okay, let's put that there. I'm run this into the corner. Another thing I want to do is I want to make a switch. Uh, is that something I build in here? Yes. I want to make a switch and I want to actually separate the power, the the direct power grid. In other words, all the machines that are creating the power from everything else too. So that's on the to-do list. So with this setup, we could, well, I mean, I could do this, but I don't know. Is that going to... Actually, you know what? That might clear. It's... I mean... <laughs> having the power line down low like that, though, is not actually a good idea. Can we put these on here? No, they don't go on the conveyor belts. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't like... I don't like it being down low like that. That is not OSHA approved. So what we'll just do then is put this up here. Um, get up here. Put it right in the middle. Oh, why isn't that doing the power pull? That's really odd. Do I just need to be up higher? Hmm. Okay, what if I just do this? Oh, there we go. Okay, that'll work. Um, right, okay. Probably going to have to do something similar over here as well. You know what else? Or you know what I think I'm going to do instead? I think... I'd like them to stay in line with the poles there. So can we... Hook that up to here. Doesn't quite reach there, but I, I wouldn't want to do that anyway. Alright, so... Let's put that right there. 
we could yeah, connect that into there. Um, let me just look at where this is positioned. Okay, so it's basically one, one, two over from this little design here. Uh, where am I going? Go back this way. One, two over, and then over to here. Is that? Wait a minute. Yeah. That's lined up. Okay. Is this in the same... It is in the same line as these. Well, why don't we just do this? <laughs> I mean, I wanted to kind of run it along the rails, but... I think it's... Yeah, let's just do this. That works. It makes more sense anyways. Beautiful. That doesn't look terrible. Um, <clears throat> now, we could do one other thing here. Uh, nah, you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. It's fine. It's fine. Did I... Uh, what the hell? <laughs> I think I accidentally removed this uh, generator. How the hell did that happen? Can't take me anywhere, man. Okay. Let's go back over here. Thought that was really weird. There. Should be exactly where it needs to be. Right, we're going to need to reconnect this now. And probably should redo this lift too, just to be on the safe side. And this is the one that we... Um, uh, underclocked too. Okay, so we got to get power to to these dudes, and so I think what we'll do for that is let's bring this. Oops. Let's bring this out to there, and then we'll run our catwalks along the back, as I typically do. We might as well just do this. Whoops. Is that an extra one in there? Alright. I don't I want to get the coal in before the water. All right. Yeah. So let's bring you to here. And then we'll connect that one to that when the time comes. Right about here. could also do is just do this. Very 
Very good. Okay, so those guys are hooked up. You know what? We don't actually need this business at all. We'll just run the power from the back. And that's going to be its permanent setup anyway. Um, why don't we do this? Okay, that's good. I must not have... Uh, I must not have put that lift on there. This needs to be a mark, too. I thought I did. What the hell's going on here, man? Those are my fucking mind. Uh, I think that's right. No, it needs to come down one more. All right, why? This needs to be at that rail there. Okay. Like that. Uh. All right, why aren't these working out? Oh, that's why. Okay. That explains it. Right, because I was talking about moving this whole kit and caboodle back. Oh, damn it. I don't know. Do I want to do that? I mean, I kind of do. Just, just so it's done right. Because, again, this is a permanent installation. Yeah, let me just, let me slide this whole business back. Um, but I'll cut the camera. See you in a second. All right, guys, I'm back, and I finally got this uh, set up correctly uh, so that this is all lined up with uh, the belt there. Uh, we have a walking bean that kind of got himself, you know, stuck stuck behind there, so I guess he can just stay there. <laughs> I tried to thump him and get him out of there, but he's just stayed stuck, so whatever. Okay, let's get the, the power hooked up. So what I want to do is I want to get the power hooked up and I want to get these coal generators filled with petroleum coke first before we um, before we start the water with them. You know what, though? I, I don't like this. Don't like those pipes being in at an angle like that. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go to here and we're gonna put you there you there excuse me and you there and then we're gonna oh actually is this gonna let work oh it's too close okay does not want to go in there. Uh oh, Auto 2D goes in there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um. Right. Let's try this one more time. There we go. That's what I want. Very good. All right, last thing we need to do is get the power hooked up. So we've got all of these poles on the grid. Yep. 
So the power connectors on these refineries are really high. So I gotta figure out how to do this and make it look neat. All right, probably what we wanna do is Let's bring you to this seam here. All right, and then we will bring you to there and up there, and you can go Here and up there. Actually, we don't need this. Let's just do this. That works. Okay, that takes care of those machines. Now we'll do something similar here. So this will come to here. Uh, is that straight? I think so. Yeah, I think it is. So we want you to go here. Why are those two not on? Oh, because I don't have the wire coming from here to here. Now they are. Alrighty, just about ready to start this thing up. Let's get right there. Go directly north. Uh, where's the, okay, the thingy's on this side. Let's hold it right to here. Is that clipping through the ladder? Yeah, it is clipping. All right, so we're going to have to move this over to here. And that's it. We have started. Okay. So this is going to output 120 per minute however I believe we only need 60 per minute so we're gonna actually underclock that uh, oh no never mind we're all right because this takes in 30 that takes in 30 that takes in 30 and that take okay yeah so we're perfect so a total of 120 Those are little vents that pop out. They're kind of cool. Hey, look at that. We've already produced our first plastic. Yay, us. And we should have rubber on the line, too. Uh, does rubber take longer to produce? Oh, there it is. Yep. It must take longer to pop out. Okay. Looking good. So these guys, as soon as they fill up with enough heavy oil residue, they all start making petroleum coke. There we go. And because of the way that I have them underclocked, they will produce 90 per minute. 
Let's also go here and load my caution yellow preset and color these guys yellow because they're underclocked. You're running normal and I believe all of these guys are running normal. Yeah. And then this very last coal generator is also uh, quite, a, quite a bit underclocked, like only at 20%. So we'll mark that one as well. Um, actually, you know what? Two. So you're only going to take nine water per minute instead of 45. All right. So... All right, let's do the math. So we have seven running at 45. So seven uh, times 45 is 315 plus 15. 330. Okay, that's the total amount that we need. Normally, these guys would be pumping out a total of 360, the water pumps. So 330 divided by 3 is 110. Okay. So what we're going to do then is we're going to set all of these to 110. Let's go here, and I want this bottom one to be black. Good. Okay. So now we're just waiting for enough petroleum coke to come through and fill these guys up. And see, see, it takes 25 per minute instead of 15 because petroleum, petroleum coke is inferior to normal coal. But we just put more in to get the same effect. And the cool thing that I like about this a lot is we're not wasting anything. We're taking this byproduct and essentially recycling it, recycling it into something useful. And we're going to start seeing a lot of that moving forward because, you know, some of our later game machines that we make uh, will have byproducts that we'll have to deal with, like nuclear waste when that time comes. Um, okay, so the way that I came to the, that, if it isn't already clear, is we're outputting a total of 120 uh, Petroleum coke, I think. Hold on, let me double check that. 180. Okay. So, if we multiply, um, seven times 25. That gives us 175, right? And then the other five comes from here to make that even out. The other thing I could have done is I could have evenly down, underclocked all eight of them, but I it's just easier to, to underclock the last one, I think. Good. Okay, so the first two machines are filled up with... Petroleum coke, that's what it looks like. Kind of like a lump of tar is what it looks like. It's a little bit different model than the, than coal is. So I'm just going to wait until all of these machines are completely full. And then we'll turn on the water pumps and we will be fully operational. Look at all that plastic and rubber. Nice. I love it. Fun stuff. What do you think, Mr. Bean? That's what he thinks. Oh, the other thing, 
too is that this is actually capable of sending 600 um yeah 600 meters squared flow rate and we will be able to upgrade these are 300 right now but we will be able to upgrade these pipes to 600 when we hit one of our milestones in either tier 5 or tier 6 i don't remember which one it is all right we're all filled up we'll turn on the water oh actually before we do that um so right now we're producing 3300 megawatts of power and this is going to add another um, 75 times 7.2, 540. I think the total power, well here, let's get these turned on first. Oh geez, I got stuck there for a minute. Okay. So what did I say? Yeah, five, we're, we're creating 540 more megawatts of power with this setup. And we are using 40... Thirty times four is 120 plus 40 is 160. And 20.5, so basically 201 megawatts. So sub subtract that from 540, and that means we're 339 of extra free power that we just added to the power grid. Very cool. I love it. It's amazing. Taking, taking the byproduct and turning it into more energy. Not wasting a single drop. It's a beautiful thing. All right, you guys. Well, that is going to wrap up this episode. The plan for the next episode is for us to finish uh, building our steel factory building and getting that finished. And uh, we're going to buy some stuff from the awesome shop and spiff it up and make it look nice. Um, I was correct, too, by the way. I do have two pure um, oil nodes over here. It's just that apparently... When I scan it, it'll only do three at a time. Um, so we have a pure node there. That's a normal, but then there's another pure node, I th think, over here. Either here or here. Um, let's move over this way for and see if we can pick that other one up. Uh, which is great, because now we have two pures and two normals. That guy's going to try and attack me. Yeah, right there. So we have a pure there and a pure there. And then that other normal is up in this area. So yeah, apparently can only scan three nodes at a time. So we have lots of oil to, to play with here. But, you know, the next plan is when we unlock the, the milestones is to make fuel... Uh, we can use fuel both for our jetpack, for our vehicles, um, but primarily we're going to use it for um, oil generators. That, um, you know, will become our new power plant. And then my plan for that is to um, probably do a... A, a, another row of generators but oil generators you know running down like this next strip here I think that's the plan anyways so we'll have to wait and see how that turns out plus I'm sure we're probably going to need crude oil uh, or we're... why is that backed up alright something's not working right um you know, we're probably going to need pla plastic and rubber as inputs to other products, too. But, uh, yeah, let's... Um, actually, here. I'm going to go get my Explorer, and we'll head back to the base and see if we can figure out what the hell's going on. We have a... Uh, it's probably a lift. Well, usually when stuff like that happens, it's a lift. It's not... 
hooked up right or something. Oh! That's the problem. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, man. I swear. Here it comes. Our very first plastic and, and rubber. Look at that. It's amazing. And plastic's being routed into the plastic bin. Rubber is being routed into the rubber bin. Okay. Success. Yay us. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.